happening now. The Shelby County Clerk's Office is making changes to try to reduce wait, wait times for car tax titles and registration. Today, employees began registering visitors on a roster as they arrive so they could avoid long lines. As WREG's Jarita Patterson explains, the extreme heat and the recent rise in COVID cases has proved this new process is needed now more than ever. These are the faces of those waiting it out to get their vehicle's registration. I'm just getting tags. I just got a new car yesterday. They were faced with something new to say as the county clerk's office rolls out a new plan to help alleviate this extended lines, especially with extreme temperatures. Uh, I was here around 630. Xavion Ward arrived at the Raleigh's clerk's office hours before it opened. The 18 year old was not alone. Sadly, minutes before the doors did open, another early comer was impacted by the heat, an ambulance having to take her away for medical care. This is just one of the many reasons County Clerk Wanda Halbert says a process dubbed no line, no waiting was put in play. We do 77 different transactions that involves collections. Here's how it works. 15 to 20 customers are being serviced at any given time. Others are then registering on a roster, awaiting a call for them to return. You can sit in your car, you can go home. We're going to give you a pre-call when it's time for you to come and sit in the building. There are a lot of reasons for the changes. According to the county clerk, there are still COVID concerns, technology issues, as well as many of the buildings not being in compliance to deal with those with disabilities. A lot of concerns, a lot of issues, and certainly a lot of frustration. No one foresaw us having new plates for every citizen, and that across the state has just slammed us resulting in the clerk's office having to now go in a different direction. Reporting in Raleigh, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. County Clerk Wanda Halbert says there are plans to do a hard shutdown of that office in order to catch up on the office's backlog, but the exact date of that temporary closure is still up in the air.